The machines that sterilize medical instruments use ethylene oxide, a highly toxic gas. Now there's a new method that's safer, more effective, and less expensive. This new machine uses ozone as the sterilizing agent. Ozone is a form of oxygen. Until the 1800s, false teeth were made of animal bone, ivory, or actual human teeth. They came from poor people who sold their teeth and from dead bodies. Today's dentures are usually ceramic. They start by heating a sheet of wax over a flame. They press it onto a rough plaster model of the patient's mouth sent in by the dentist. The lab technicians use this model to prepare what's called an impression tray, what the dentist will use to make a rubber mold to cast the dentures. They apply an acrylic material over the wax lining, forming a handle so they'll be able to remove it afterwards. Once the acrylic hardens, they pull it out of the model and discard the wax. The dentist fills this new acrylic tray with rubber to take a final impression. The lab uses the hardened rubber as a negative mold of the patient's mouth. They fill it with plaster to make a new, more precise plaster model. Then they use the new model to make the part of the dentures that fits on top of the patient's gums. They take special orthodontic acrylic and press it into the model to form what's called the base plate. Then they heat a sheet of wax to form a rim on the base. This new acrylic and wax model now goes back for another fitting in the patient's mouth. The dentist takes a series of measurements to show the lab exactly where to place the teeth. The model goes back to the lab, where technicians select the teeth that'll best suit the size of the patient's mouth. They install the teeth one by one into the model's wax rim. Then they send the model back to the dentist for the final fitting. The dentist checks that everything is centered and that the patient's bite is properly aligned. If the model fits well and looks good, the lab can finally begin to manufacture the dentures. They position the model in a special holder called a flask, then attach channels through which acrylic will later be injected. This acrylic will replace the wax holding the teeth in place. But first, to get rid of the wax, they have to cast a plaster mold to hold the teeth in place. Once the plaster dries, they submerge it in hot water for five minutes to melt the wax inside. They rinse the plaster mold with warm water to remove any wax residues. Then they apply what's called a separator, a chemical that will keep the acrylic from sticking to the plaster mold, just like greasing the pan when you're baking. They position a cylinder of acrylic right over the flask. Using an air pressure piston, they force the acrylic into the plaster mold. They submerge the mold in boiling water for 35 minutes to harden the acrylic. Once the flask has cooled down, they break the plaster. The false teeth are now securely rooted in acrylic gums. A bit of finishing and they'll be done. An ultrasonic bath gets rid of any remaining plaster. They polish the acrylic with pumice, then shine it up with a polishing compound. The set of false teeth is finally ready. When a patient doesn't need a full set of dentures, just a few teeth, 
They get what's called a partial, made much the same way, but hooked on at either end to the patient's natural teeth.